Well, it's apparently the season to get engaged. Nobody told me <laughs> or the man I'm dating, apparently. I've been told that the six weeks between Thanksgiving and New Year's, the most popular time to get engaged. I don't know why. Laura Hunter from Exquisite Wedding Magazine is, is here to tell us about some trends. Why is this such a popular time to get engaged? Well, it's the holidays. There's families together, and it just seems the perfect time to pop the question. Okay, fine. So what are some of the trends that we're looking forward to in 2020? Well, today we brought one of our super fun trends with us um, for you guys to all see, and it is having engaging activities okay. when you are at the wedding. Sometimes there's a little bit of a lull when um, the couple's getting their pictures taken. So. What can your guests do? Besides have an alcoholic drink, well, which tends to happen. <laughs> okay, so what, how do you want to get people involved? Well, let's take a look. We've okay. got um, one of our beautiful, talented florists, um, Dawn from Tula Rosa. She um, is making jewelry with- Oh, get out. Yes. Yeah. All right, so don't, yeah, let's let's check out what we have. These are gorgeous, by the way, but oh, how is this you. interactive for our guests? So basically, I think of this as like a charcuterie board for flowers. And it's all so fancy. Fresh flowers Wait, are these real? Everything's real. Oh goodness! Do I have to water it somehow? Just well, spray it like a spray bottle? It's really like for just the night. So okay. guests can come up. We have blanks for them, so um, they can take one of these and they just dip it in the glue, and then they can make earrings like this. Or we have combs. Oh, get out! This is really sweet. So as they're waiting for the couple to take pictures yeah. or whatever it may be, they, they make these day of. Themselves. I like that a lot. That's a yeah. great idea. Okay. Do you want to try and make one real quick? Yeah, let's do it. So basically, we could take just this big flower. So how would this work? Do you deliver the flowers to the table and guests just at each table have this or is it like a crafting table? We're gonna set it up like this mm -hmm. so it actually becomes part of like the decoration for the wedding. Okay. And what we can do is is uh, coordinate it with the decor of the wedding. Okay. So if the wedding's all white and green then we do it white yeah, and green. Yeah, you match it up. Colorful. But right now color is really trending. Okay. So we're just gonna dip it in this blue. The color is trending. Color is trending. It has not been in for quite a while. Really? You're yes. telling me people are doing black and white weddings? No, blush. Actually, Bl black is isn't trending blush a also. color. It's a it's a light color, and okay. we're starting to get into like vibrant, vibrant, gotcha. more vibrant. That so makes sense. If you want to try this, I might have done a little bit too much glue, but that's all right. This is basically <laughs> that would be a flower. So we have wearing. we have to craft before the alcohol comes yes. out, is what you're yes, saying. Definitely. This is actually a really cute idea, especially for the ladies, and then they all have the matching rings. You know, they're going to yeah. Instagram that stuff. It's going to exactly. be super fun. Now I'm going to walk over here. I believe we've got you know this is nothing new. People have been doing the awesome photo booths and the themes and the little costume so what what what's special about this one well, well we have Nathan from Red Pan the mm -hmm. photo booth here to oh. explain about um, how you can customize this can I to take a wedding. picture okay <laughs> so for all the single people wait are you gonna take it do you have to press the button let's yeah. see how it so works take three pictures. well you're not single are I you am. Oh, okay yeah <laughs> perfect I got a number one here <laughs> we'll take three pictures five seconds apart that we have a nice variety okay you want to do different poses okay like wait we have to okay ready I'm ready so the first one's in five oh there I am four Three. This is why I'm single because I make this. All right, I'll take the next one in five. Oh wait, four, oh, wait. Three. Fun. Okay, and these are always. I mean, everybody loves these photo booths, no matter what. And the pictures. Oh, there's another one. And they come out so quickly, so you right, have right. like an instant memory, and you have like fun sort of. Can people pick different themes? I see you've had random pirate stuff here. Yeah, we. This is kind of a, just a general idea, but um, we do specific to a theme. If there's yeah. a themed wedding, uh, something fun, like we see steampunk a lot. We yeah. see a lot of masquerade. 1920s, the Roaring Twenties, different things like that, and we'll cater absolutely to the different looks. Yeah. But um, overall, we just like to have everybody have a good time. Obviously, we the we mustache enjoy. is a is a very big one, and I can confirm that nobody gets tired of these photos. Absolutely. For sure. Now, here's a different interactive uh, game I hear. Yeah, Can hi. you tell everyone your name, what we got? Yes, my name is Rafina with More Rentals. Um, we're a rental company here in San Diego. <laughs> this is our Connect Four that we've uh, catered to brides and grooms specifically, made little hearts. We made this in-house in our warehouse. This is this is actually really cute. Does this yeah. fit in there? Yep, oh, we get just out. play. Um, this is one of our most popular games in 2019. Um, and then we have two other games that are just classics that- Cornhole um, bags, cornhole whatever you call it. and Jenga. They're just giant games that you want at your wedding just for your guests to interact while they're, you know, 
having a drink in their hands. They want to do something else with their hands. They want to talk with their guests. And this is just like a good buffer for them to play and um, interact while Well, and these are good, better conversation starters than just sitting Absolutely. there at the bar and having a drink. This is, And I will yes. tell you what, honestly, I haven't seen one of these at a wedding. So yes. this is seems pretty unique to me. Um, yes. Laura, any other trends that we have looking forward to in 2020? Well, I think... What we're going with here, the making things engaging. Um, we've got beautiful lace gowns that are trending as well. We'll be seeing lots of that. Um, you know, blush is still holding strong as a color palette, but we're seeing a lot of our creative people bringing in these gorgeous. Do people still do pads. the throwing of the bouquet? Is that a thing? I think. Or do they stop still, doing that? It, it's still traditional, and, uh -huh. I, and I think what's really cool is that people can either get rid of things that are people have been doing forever and create new ones. Like yeah, make it your activities. own, have it fun exactly. instead of the, you know, very dry traditional wedding. What? Where can people go for more information? Well, you can find a copy of Exquisite Weddings on newsstands now. Okay, all right, so we're gonna toss it back to the anchors. Where are they? Right I'm just here. gonna walk around with this say? every day, all day. <laughs> Just so people oh, it's know, a it's, a it's a single. It's a single. Jenny, I'm kind of looking forward to attending a wedding in 2020. <clears throat> don't put that pressure you know on me. Uh, How do you? Yeah. I don't want to get married. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Back to you. Fine. Okay. Bye. Enough. I guess there are no more rules. You can have whatever kind of party you want. It's your party. I want the In-N-Out truck to show up at. Oh, that would be good. Some that taco good? truck. Yeah, that yeah. sounds delicious. Do whatever you want.